Hi friends, uh, namaste and welcome to Remarkable. We are here with the remarkable lady Nalini Gupta. She needs no introduction. As I said, ships are built of steel. She is built of steel because she stood the test of time, fought through her way with choppy waters to get things going for the cruise industry in India. A difficult question to ask, Lina, but let me try putting it this way. Um, you know, I've, uh, in my career that I've had in the industry, I've always, every decade, I look for new challenges. Uh, can I, from Air India, could I move into the CRS industry, which was just beginning to find its feet early 90s? So I moved in with Abacus, and that's how I was with Abacus, the CRS system. And then after that, uh, when South Africa needed attention, I borrowed with South African Airways, spent seven years there. When I started my own company, I, I literally spent a year searching for a sector which required or just untapped. And then when I looked about untapped, it was not just for international cruising, but how can you really can get your big numbers only if you come to India. And the Indians uh, truly were not cruisers because they were not introduced to this game. Okay. Uh, all the different markets, the biggest, their biggest customers come from their domestic zone. And for be it America, be it Europe, be it Australia, everybody, everybody. In India, when you didn't have the ships, how could you make an Indian become a become a cruiser? You needed to bring ships to their door. While, while I was a discussion with Casta, what inspired me the most was the fact that they were always the ones who went first through every country. Be it Brazil, be it uh, China, be it any other part of the world. They were the first ones who went there and put in their flag. And I thought, this is the company that I would really want to uh, get them to look at India. And, and they give me all the support and that's the reason I think uh, you can do so much and no more but without the support from everybody which includes your headquarters or for that matter the government you are nowhere. So fortunately I can just say I just have been lucky as well. I think uh, the minister supporting me is also in line with our Prime Minister's message of uh, tapping our coastline. The Prime Minister's vision of saying, can I make an Indian sea zone country? Can I make domestic tourism a bigger piece of the cake for Indians? And I think if you want to make Indians look domestically, while you have beautiful parts of this country to be explored, you need to find different ways to entice them. And I thought cruising was one such, one such medium. And uh, I think the shipping minister was in line with that particular idea. And he said, yes, I will give you all the support you require. And unfortunately, I also have the support of headquarters. And we have a very senior person who's come, come across. He's never been to India. But Robert uh, Alberti, the CEO, is coming here only because he too, he too believes that we are on the right track. Yes. So that it's uh, all the right place at the right time. Seal the cross highway. Please come to seal with us. Uh, you will uh, you will just love the way uh, way you can holiday. No other place can you bind so closely with your friends and family like you can do in, in the, when you cruise. And no other time where, where you don't have to worry about where's your next meal. It's all taken care of. When you talk talk about cruising and holiday being easy, do it the cruising way. And I think uh, I've enjoyed every every possible cruise that I've gone on. I'm sure everybody else will do so. So please come sail with us.